Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to add cookie consent on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page is tap on apps from the left hand menu option. Then from here, you're going to select app and sales channel settings. After doing that, you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to tap on Shopify app store from the top right hand corner. Once on the Shopify app store, you're going to tap on the search bar and I want you to type in cookie consent. Then we are going to be using the Avada GDPR cookie consent. As you can see, it is completely free and it has a five star ratings. You are going to tap on install. After selecting install, you'll be redirected to a new page to complete the installation. From here, you're going to tap on install once more. After tapping on install once more, you'll be redirected to the app dashboard. Once on the app dashboard, I'll be showing you how to set it up. And also they will provide you with numerous template options that you can use. So you can see it is loading up right here. After it has loaded up, all you'll need to do now is tap on activate app. Once you have selected activate app, you'll be redirected to the editor page and from the top left hand menu option, you're going to be able to enable embed. So you can see that it has been enabled right there and you will simply tap on save. After you have tapped on save, you're going to go back into the Avada cookie. So you can see right there. And then from there, you can tap on banner settings after you have selected banner settings, you can now turn on the banner status if you want. So you can see right here, enable cookie banner, cookie bar for all countries or specific regions. If you would like to enable it for only specific regions or EU and UK countries GDPR, you can tap right there. If you would like to do it for Brazil or so on, you can select the region that you want to use. I'm going to select all countries. Then from here, you can select behavior. So you can see right there, accept slash decline. And this will allow only necessary cookies at the start. Or you can select whether you like it to show only accept only or decline only or informative. So you have different options. And you can also see an example of how it will look in the bottom right hand corner right here. And by scrolling down, you can also see the privacy policy link. So you can leave that as is. And by scrolling up, we can tap on content. After you have tapped on content, if you would like to edit the message, you can do that. But I'll leave it as is at the moment. But if you would like to edit it, you can. You can also tap on style. And if you would like to change the style from basic to, for example, dark mode or so on, you can do that. You can customize it based on the theme that you're using and the color. So you can optimize it so it looks better on your website. You can also move the positioning. So let's say you like it to be a full bar. You could select full bar instead of float bar. You can also select where you like it to be displayed on desktop, top left, top right, or so on. You can also select the mobile positioning. Once everything is there liking, you'll tap on save. So we first going to turn on banner status. Let's do that real quick. After you have turned on banner status, you'll be redirected to this editor page once more. And from here, you want to ensure that it has been enabled. So you're going to toggle it on. After it has been toggled on, you can see right there an example of how it looks. So all we need to do now is go back here and we are going to tap on save to save the changes in the top right hand corner. Once the changes have been saved, if you were to go over to the left hand menu option and tap on view your online store. Once on your online store, you can now see that we have the cookie pop up in the bottom left hand corner right there. And if we were to use a mobile phone or so on, you will see it pop up at the bottom of the page. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.